So pimps another day. Now what I'm trying to do is put throw a load of, couple of videos together and explain it and trying to get people's fears away from and understanding safety relays. And how to fault find on them, the basic knowledge and how to wire freeze the basic circuits up. Now what we've got is we've got schematics and I'm just going to show you quickly a few bits on there and what they do. So we've got our control voltage, so it's 24 volt, and then zero. So you've got A1, A2, then we've got channel one, our channel two. This corresponds with channel one, channel two. So these two have to be made it together in a certain time, it's about 50 milliseconds million or 100 milliseconds. And if it's not done in that time frame, it won't start. So these two have to be linked. Because what we're looking for is we're looking for a voltage drop, not for an input. So with these two made, that's going to pull these contacts in. And what you can see is he's got a bridge. So what we've got is we've got three normally open contacts and we've got one auxiliary closed, normally closed. But what this bridge does is if these were welded together, you wouldn't allow your um, auxiliary to close. Because what you normally have is these going out to your contacts and this auxiliary on the end might go to your HMI to give you a safe signal. And then the contacts are out. Now if one of these drops out, that will drop that one out and that kills the circuit. Or if they both drop out, that kills both of them. So then we've got our Y32 that goes to your PLC input, and then you've got your reset. Now that will normally, nine times out of ten, will come around from your pit 24 on a normally open button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a quick brief look at what you'd see if you saw the relay inside the panel. So we've got our power LEDs there, that's showing you you've got your 24 on there, on your A1, which is actually there. And then you've got your inputs, one and two. So these are showing that you've got your 24 volt here on your inputs. And then if you've got the inputs there, that also will put in these contacts. But if you haven't got, say, an input one or input two light on, that what that's going to do is that won't pull these contacts in. So if we've got no K1, no channel one, channel one inputs here will not, the contacts won't be pulled in. And that what that does is then put it in a fault. Um, scenario and then it won't put in anything until we've cleared the fault but that will give you a chance to know where to be looking for the fault and then what you can do is when you've cleared that fault you can put your pressure reset button and then that's when this will light up because you're putting your 24 down on 30 here and then obviously once you pressure and you've reset the fault and everything's in and all your channels are in you pull and then you'll get power on input one on and input two on and then your out light will be on because your contacts have been pulled in. Now if that's up someone, that's let you proved.